Johnny Knoxville and the Jackass crew are back with a brand new film, Jackass Forever. It's out in theaters this weekend. I'm going to let you know this is one that you should go and laugh your ass off at right after this. Hey everyone, it's the outlaw John Roca here and Jackass fan excited to be talking about this brand new film, Jackass Forever, that is out in theaters this weekend. Before I get into it, I want to remind you all to please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you see when we're dropping all the new content we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. And when you're done with that, head on over to Twitch. Follow me there, the Outlaw Nation, all one word. Try to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as I can. Be doing a lot of watch-alongs for the NFL playoffs. Going to be doing some movie watch-alongs starting next week. Certainly got the John and Wendy show on Fridays live on Twitch at 3 p.m. PT. Me and Wendy Lee having some fun talking about the week's biggest news. So all of that is available there. And later I'll let you know how you can go to the Patreon if you want to support everything we're doing here on the Outlaw Nation in a monthly way. Uh, all right, enough of that. Let's get into this review here. Jack Ass Forever. Jeff Tremaine, the director on this one. Johnny Knoxville coming back with Steve-O. Chris Pontius, the old crew here, hanging out and having some fun with some new stunts, new pranks, new things. Well, they've also brought on some cool celebrities. Eric Andre is a part of this machine gun. Kelly has some fun in this. Francis Ngannou, an MMA fighter, is a part of this as well. Tyler, the creator, has a fun spot in this Tony Hawk as well. So it's great to see this nice mixture of the old crew with some new celebrities and then some new people being a part of the Jackass crew, including a woman, Rachel Wolfson, stand-up comic. She puts herself through some interesting situations from licking a stun gun to having a scorpion on her lips there. That's as much as I'm going to give away. Uh, and then you got Wee Man coming back as well. Jason Wee Man Acuna is so fantastic to see in this and have fun with him. Dave England is back as well in a small way. Preston Lacey putting himself through some insane situations and insane interactions jasper dolphin is back here is is part of this as well so a nice diverse mixture of women of uh, people of color youth uh, mixture as well all coming together to be a part of this madness and insanity and let me tell you something if you don't like seeing penises this is not the movie for you penises are all over this movie so let's move past that steve o's penis other people's penis who whose penis that we see uh, uh, oh yeah, Chris Ponti is this penis. We see a number of penises throughout the movie. Definitely some butts as well and some madness. Large dudes, small dudes, big guys, skinny guys. The whole spectrum is covered here and there's a lot to enjoy. You know, I wasn't sure how this movie was going to come off. I wasn't sure, you know, with, with everything's going down, on now in our culture wars and in the political spectrum and all the battles that are going on on social media and in our news and in our lives and with our friends and families, I wasn't sure how this movie was going to come off. I wasn't sure how people were going to take it. I wasn't sure how this movie was going to present itself. Well, let me tell you something. After an hour and 36 minutes of this movie, I was in love with it. Absolutely in love with it. I, I felt like I was going back to being a teenager and watching my teenage friends going through all kinds of crazy shit to prove how far they could test their bodies, how far they could take their bodies in terms of pain and in terms of experience. And we got parachutes yanking you, uh, launching you off ramps we have dirt uh, mounds that people are slamming into we've got bees that are being attracted to someone's crotch we have uh, softball pitches as we saw in the trailer there being launched into uh, cups by professional softball players there's a professional hockey player pk suban is a part of this launching pucks uh at uh, at people's uh, uh at a person's uh, private area and face so there's so much plus the bull comes back there johnny knoxville versus the bull and let me tell you something like you see in the trailer he suffered a brain hemorrhage doing this movie which is why he says this is it i don't know if i believe him but certainly this is what he's saying this is the last movie he is going to be in and he's great he's fantastic and that's another thing that comes through when you oh, look the stunts are from, uh, i could go on and on about the stunts but i want to ruin i want you all to go and enjoy it and have fun the speed of this jeff tremaine and the editors do a really great job going from stunt to stunt quickly to telling little mini stories with some of them and other ones just being one-offs and they flow so well you're never bored i mean just when i was getting close to possibly being like okay enough's enough they launch a fantastic awesome huge prank at the end of the movie that is just worth the wait absolutely worth the wait you're gonna laugh all the way through this thing 
This thing has a hell of a heart at the middle of it. Watching these, all these people come together and have genuine affection for each other. There's a bunch of ball busting, good natured ribbing. There's occasional stun gun action on each other by surprise. All kinds of stuff that you see here that kind of lets you feel like these people actually do care about each other, do support each other. Immediately running to anybody who gets seriously injured. They're immediately making sure everyone's okay. They show respect. They do the applause for pulling off any of these stunts or these uh, these pranks and all of that. So it's just incredible to watch. And of course, mixed into it is like a, lunch of, a bunch of scatological humor. This is not for the queasy. This is not for the people with a soft stomach. This is going to affect you in some ways. But you're also going to be blown away by what these people are willing to put themselves through. Uh, and certainly we see in the trailer that bear moment. That bear moment happens, and it is pretty unsettling to see. Let me let me point out a couple of people that I think are the stars of this movie. Uh, Sean McInerney, who goes by Poopies. Poopies is hilarious. Poopies is willing to do anything, willing to take on anything, and puts himself through hell. I'll also give a lot of uh, love to Danger Aaron. What Danger Aaron puts himself through and willing to endure is incredible. And, of course, Rachel Wilson. I mean, once more, I want to reiterate this. Rachel Wilson as the first female to be a part of a jackass uh, movie, I believe, she does a great job. She's a hell of a sport to endure the stuff that she's enduring when she gets to be involved in the pranks. And Jasper Dolphin is great as well. Jasper's dad, who is a former gang member, gets involved in this as well. So there's so much here that is just fun to enjoy, so much here that you're going to have fun with. Look, you want me to say anything negative about that? I can't. It's not a It's not a you know movie with a with a freaking beginning, middle, and end, with a storyline and narratives. No, no. This is, did they get it right? Did you have a lot of fun? Did they pace it out correctly? And the answer is yes. And you're going to have a blast. I don't care which side of the political spectrum you are on. I don't care what your feelings are about anything. If you're into this jackass stuff, this is a slice of heaven to enjoy and have some fun and take your mind off all the madness going on in the world. Disappear for 96 minutes with this jackass crew and have some fun uh, seeing them explore the limits of their bodies on land, on sea, and in the air as well. And it's it's well worth your time and you're going to have a lot of fun for sure. And come out of it like feeling warm and fuzzy about these guys and Rachel Wolfson because they all seem to genuinely care about each other. And that's really what matters in this world, friendship and an understanding that we're all in this together. And you certainly have that come through throughout. And certainly all the great uh, celebrities that are involved in this, it's fun to see. Machine Gun Kelly's sequence with Steve-O is absolutely hilarious. Eric Andre's stuff is brilliant. Eric Andre breaking it down. So we're not building uh, rockets out here. This isn't rocket science. You know, he breaks it down very simply uh, in his sequence as well. So, so much of this is just there to enjoy. And everyone seems to be having a blast, whether they're a celebrity or one of the new recruits into the Jackass crew. They're having a lot of fun. And yes, Grandpa makes an appearance, uh, a couple of appearances here in this movie. So let me say this here to wrap up my review here for Jackass Forever. It is 90 minutes of laugh out loud, clap your hands, cover your mouth, and lose your shit. Funny, if you love the Jackass fr franchise, then this is a great return to form with some insane and effed up new pranks that will test your limits of what you can watch and endure. Johnny Knoxville has a winner here. Go and enjoy it this weekend. And I meant that when I tweeted it, and I mean it even more now. Go and enjoy this one this weekend. And let me know what you thought about it in the comments section below. Let me know what your thought is review in the comments section below. Remember to hit a like on this video and share it on your social media because when you share it on your social media, you're telling your friends and family, hey, the Outlaw Nation is a cool place to come and enjoy some content and have some fun with the Outlaw John Roca and his assorted band of great co-hosts on all the shows. We would appreciate that very, very much. Also remember to follow me at the Roca says on Twitter and on Instagram and on TikTok and the Outlaw Nation on Twitch. As I mentioned earlier, one word, the Outlaw Nation on Twitch. And if you want to support everything we're doing here and be a part of these hangouts that we have, be a part of the Outlaw Nation movie trivia league, which we're doing every week and every month here on the channel, well then head on over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash John Roca and see all the multiple things we got going on there and the benefits that you can be a part of as well and don't forget my other podcast the top 10 the cinephiles and the geek buddies all out there for you to enjoy all right take care of yourselves jackass forever and i'll talk to you next time with another brand new review here on the outlaw nation <laughs>